So you all probably know that Godzilla minus one, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire and the legacy of monsters are gonna be released real soon. Well, there is another Godzilla that you should know that will be showcased in the coming weeks ahead. But wait a minute, didn't the title say four Godzillas in six months and we can only count three with that new entry? Well, strap yourselves up for this reveal and why there are really four types of Godzillas that will be seen within half a year. We are going to go one by one and the shows they are in as well, as well as the dates and recent news regarding all of them. Let's get to it. The first king here is the one and only Godzilla Minus One. Toho will be screening the much anticipated Godzilla Minus One for the first time not on the 3rd of November but in Tokyo's film festival which is going to be held in the first of that month. Godzilla Minus One will be a reboot of the original after all these 70 years and it will be a fresh new design, a standalone and a stand apart movie from the rest. It will not be connected to the Monsterverse or the earlier Shin Godzilla. Godzilla here will be smaller in size but way more terrifying and he will go back to the roots. You know the creation or origins by nuclear weaponry and testings and his subsequent revenge on humanity by attacking Tokyo. And here Godzilla will be smaller around 50 meters or 164 feet in height and going by the trailers and leaked footage, he will truly be an evil force taking delight in killing people. If only he was available to be seen during Halloween. The second one is Godzilla in Legacy of the Monsters as Gare Goji. So as most of us have already seen the new full trailer, well I'm guessing most of us have. So anyway, the king here will be seen as his 2014 version or design, which is called the Gare Goji. Since the show will focus on a group of people, a monarch, the organization, totally new monsters which we shall showcase in another video, and also have time jumps from 2014 back to the past to the 1950s, Therefore, we will see the original legendary Godzilla design, which is iconic with his straight and jagged dagger-like dorsal plates. Remember those thick legs? Well, we will see them as well. And that big belly. Goji with the dad bot is coming back to the screens, baby. Furthermore, we will also see his evolution or transformation from Gare Goji to the 2019 King of the Monsters design called Doa Goji. Thirdly, the new kid on the block, as we would like to call him, Godzilla Rex as part of a short Godzilla vs Megalon flick to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Megalon. So Toho approved this new short film that will feature a rematch between Megalon and the King of the Monsters and it will be screened as part of the Godzilla Fest in Japan on November 3rd. So there is already a teaser trailer out there and a Twitter or Expo states that this is gonna be a part of the 50th anniversary of Megalon's birth that is it has been 50 years since the movie Godzilla vs. Megalon of 1973 was shown in cinemas. It will be an approved sequel to the work of Takuya Uenishi, the guy that brought out last year's Godzilla vs. Gigant Rex. And it will be in collaboration with Akihiro Shibata, known for Gifu Godzilla and Dress, whatever those two mean. So these both have teamed up to bring out a 3D CGI X live action short work. So it will be larger than the Gigant Rex short film and also include real life people in it, in conjunction with an improved CGI King of the Monsters. They also stated, don't miss the Reiwa battle between Godzilla and Megalon, meaning that since Shin Godzilla onwards, the Toho Godzillas are termed to be in the Reiwa era succeeding the Millennium and the Heisei eras before it. And I don't think this will include the Monsterverse era films, since TriStar Godzilla wasn't included in the Heisei era of movies, therefore, the Monsterverse, GVK, GXA and all that will not be in the Reiwa eras. Lastly, we will have Godzilla in GXK The New Empire as a newer evolved form of Doa Goji. What? Hang on guys, let me explain. Here's the thing. This isn't a leaked plot or a spoiler but an educated inference. See, Godzilla in the Monsterverse is ever changing. We have the Gare Goji of 2014 and after his battle with the Muto Prime, what happened? He evolved into the Doa Goji with more maple leaf shaped dorsal plates and then got buffed with uh, strenuous chest push ups, let's say. Look, all I'm seeing here is that we might just see Godzilla take on a slightly different form from the one that we saw in King of the Monsters. Hell, even the one in GVK had a slight re upgrade in fins, arms, feet, tail, and the nuclear powers, especially him glowing extra hard. And yeah, with a fight against the original Titan 
and skulking, he would have to develop new skills or revamp his entire body to come out on top. Hell, even a toy leak showed a drastically different dorsal plate design of Doa Goji. So, high hopes on that one. So those are the four Godzillas we will see by April of 2024, in six months. So if you like this video, then watch this one as well. And if you're more interested in other movie monsters and creatures, then check out our channel as well. We might just have things that you haven't seen or thought about. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, fam.